I don't know, boys. That's a lot of money for a van with nothing in the back. But I guess the uh, 3.7 liter V6 with the medium roof and the 148 wheelbase along with the 373 limited slip differential must be the most popular options because just about every one of these have that uh, package on it and they all seem to be they all seem to be 148 wheelbase and uh, medium roof as a matter of fact I don't even see a high roof out here Boost must be a uh, must be a unicorn, which I think for maintenance costs you're probably better off with the 3.7 V6. Uh, anyhow, I've had turbocharged vehicles before, and especially especially turbocharged cars from manufacturers. They don't have the proper ventilation. They don't. Uh, they don't have turbo coolers on them usually. After you shut off the, uh, the car, they don't have catch cans. It's just they get all gunked up after time, and it's just more stuff to go wrong. Oh look, we got a long wheel base out here. It's muddy as crap out there, so I probably won't be able to make it. Oh, that looks like a used one. That's the only high roof I see out here. Yeah, that's a beast. I don't think I would want to drive that around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's stuck too. Check out the mud. It is soggy around here. It's been, like this. It's been raining forever. I'll have to pull that sucker out. raining like crazy here in North Carolina um, it's supposed to be 70 and stop raining later today so that's a plus and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get this van life thing going at least part-time for now so I'm trying to choose a platform and I think I've uh, I think I've narrowed it down to the Ford Transit just because of there's so many dealerships across the U.S. They're fairly, uh, they're not the cheapest option, but they're not the most expensive option. And uh, they get pretty good reviews. I've got to look at the cargo space. I think that's going to be challenging for sure. But uh, for right now, I think that's probably the platform I'm going to go with. So I just need to make a deal. And uh, I need to clean this bad baby up. And... Uh, up for sale so uh, I'm gonna get started on this thing pretty hot and heavy um, on March the 6th which is uh, I'm gonna have a little bit more free time on my hands so I'm gonna start building it out and it's gonna be probably a 400 watt solar system on it two uh, two lifepo batteries at 100 amps each and uh, little bed and some cargo space for the toys and probably a primitive um, water and sink system and uh, I'm just going to test it out for a few weeks um, driving across the country and see how it works out and then start kind of adding amenities as needed I don't want to get anything too crazy on it but uh, yeah so we'll come back and uh, strike a deal